Hello Scorpio, this is Leonard with Lingam Day T Tarot and I'm doing your July reading. And I am going to be using the Queen of the Moon Oracle, the Earth Magic Oracle, the Animal Wisdom Tarot, the Everyday Witch Tarot, and the Steampunk Tarot. And at any time, if you like any part of the reading, just like, comment, share, and subscribe down below and let me know if anything resonates with you. But let's go ahead and start with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Gratitude and Attraction. Okay. So, Scorpio, it looks like you're using some of the laws of attraction to bring things towards you. So it's like you and the water, you and cancer are not caught up in the chaos of this new energy. It's like you're flowing with it and you're going with the groove. You're having the patience and the gratitude to bring things towards you already. Although because of that, you have a perspective and strength. Um, you're not sure whether or not to um, believe this promise of newness, but there will be stillness in the future for you with the overall calm. I don't want to say happiness, giddiness, like a little schoolgirl. Regardless of if you're male or female, you could both giggle like little schoolgirls. <laughs> and just have fun with it, because you're attracting things to you. You don't need to be all manly and macho. You can have fun and excitement in your life. I can hear some of your thoughts saying, no way, I don't do that. Why you giggle like a little girl <laughs> off in the side with your friends. <laughs> Hmm. 
And that could go for the ladies too. But yeah. You are just giddy, Scorpio. For some of you. And it's a good giddiness. But let's look into the past. Present. In the future. With the block of nine. Since this energy is new, I thought I would do Black of Nine with everybody. But... It's like you have a sense of the future, and it causes this tower moment to happen for you. Because you have the Ten of Shells already, and it scares you that you are in your mind trying to figure out how to keep it. How do I keep it all to me? But you have to ease yourself because you do have strength right now that you're going through. Because the four of branches is coming for you with the seven of fossils. Now the four of branches could be a commitment, a recommitment to somebody who's in your life who is coming, who is in your life, who is just recommitting to you, or it could be somebody who wants to have this with you, somebody who you waited for, somebody who you waited for to get to this point in their life. Because the truth comes out and it sends you into a baby hermit mode you're in contemplation. Okay, so the truth came out with the Knight of Feathers. Here's how they actually feel about me. And here's them making a, that recommitment to wanting the four branches to give you their pinnacle that you've been waiting on. But more truth comes out, more love comes out, and it just sends you into this jail cell in your mind. You're just feeling stuck. You don't want to look at anything, but it's what you waited for. It's what you wanted. The moon's illuminating it. But you're putting a forest around you because you're scared. You don't know how to handle it. For some of you. And your reading so far is probably the clearest one that I've done. Out of all of them, in the beginning it was a little... Interesting. <laughs> and Scorpio, you started your reading as yourself. And you may be dealing with a Leo. But let's go ahead and clarify some of these for you. You needed to move into calmer waters. 
for yourself with the Six of Swords. And why is the Ten of Shells here? It ended your burdens, bringing in the Queen of Pentacles, and ending this Three of Swords moment for you. And why is the Nine of Feathers here? It could have been that you had an argument with your significant other, but uh, yeah, it brings out this queen of pentacles for you, um, who is very loving and nurturing and kind. It may have been a change in career that helped you. It still had you going in your head, though, where you make a final decision on something to which the truth is revealed with the Ace of Swords here. And why is strength here? Why is the ruler of an open heart here? You have the strength to hold back your feelings. Not really tell anybody, but this person brings out the best in you. It's equal give and take. It's the King of Cups. And they're willing to share themselves with you. There may be a little bit of lust, passion. Uh, but you have to beat somebody off with a stick. But hey. It's what you waited for. It has you in your mind. You've never felt like this in a while. And it's revealing things to you that you haven't really thought about in a while. Now, why is the four of branches here? Okay. That one's up first. You're looking at things differently. Cooling your emotions. Having the strength to move forward and to be the fool and go forward with this relationship. Using your inner tuition, because this is your soulmate. They're not emperor yet, but they're your soulmate. They might be a pig-headed ass, but they're your soulmate. <laughs> I don't know who needed to hear that, but that was something that... Yeah. So why is the Seven of Parcels here? <laughs> Ooh, we want to put a ring on it. So why is the Seeker of Feathers here? I'm just going to take the ones that are up. Offer to the Queen of Swords, who has her boundaries, but they're passionate with this new cup of love. They want to end the arguments, end the fighting, give you your wish fulfillment, and put a ring on it. So why is the four of feathers here? A 
and I think you're the only one who had things come up about it. No, that was... That was Libra that love, but yeah. New beginnings and wish fulfillment. You're gonna... You're like, I'm first in line, get behind me. None of you witches get a chance. my person. <laughs> Why is the seer of fossils here? Because of the ace of pentacles is giving you a new beginning and again you're stuck in your mind. Any other advice for Scorpio? See that? That's all your advice. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Strength. Nine of Wands. Six of Cups. King of Wands. Justice. Six of Wands. Fool. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Tower. Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. The Star. Basically, you're getting your wish fulfillment. This is your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups. And it's going to come in like a bang. And it's going to be equal give and take. You need to look at things differently. You need to celebrate your successes. Again, celebrate your successes. Celebrate your successes. You have the strength to do it. This is somebody who's coming in from your past life. This is your soulmate. Or one of your many soulmates. And this is your wish fulfillment. And it's what you waited for. So be the fool. Stick your neck out there. Do something that you never thought you would do in a while. Believe. So that is your reading, Scorpio. And I hope you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And I know I enjoyed this reading because it came out just like, like the easiest reading that I could do for any of the signs. So enjoy Scorpio and I will see you again next time. Laters.